Welcome to Why Rush Racing, and welcome to the Hillbilly GP. This is round one, and we're at Loose Place today, and you're following from Missouri. But remember, subscribe to me on YouTube, and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. All right, so here we are, round one, and round one always guarantees a big turnout, and today is no exception. There's a total of 277 racers. Let's say that again. 277 racers. Can you believe it? So. This is the AM class here, or the AM race. Uh, there are more races in this one than there are in the PM, and there's also the Pee Wee races in between. And this year, uh, this is the first year of the, the end of third year I've raced the Hill Village, and I won't be in the AM race. I'm actually the PM race. So now, instead of filming the pros or whatnot come by, here are some of the Sea Sportsman dudes. And uh, this is actually all the footage I got before I ran out of memory on my phone, so sorry everybody else, but oh man, it was fun coming out and watching and cheering on some of the guys I used to race against, and then uh, also still racing with some of the other guys that jumped up to be met with me as well. But yeah, so this is XR Creek, and well, we're going to see plenty of it today. It's pretty awesome. It's one of my favorite obstacles of the whole series here, or segments of a trail in the whole series. Alright, so yeah, this is a, a new view for me. This is the PM race, this is the pro start, and I'm on a line. Yeah, that's right. I'm, uh, what, five rows back, and in the B vet class. You can see B right in front of me, and uh, whoa, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, so yeah, like I, I did say, there's some guys that jumped up from C vet to B vet. Uh, one of those is, well, can't see them that way, they're to my left. Uh, right there to my left is Rick Simmons, and then also Bob Craver. And if you saw the Missouri's, you know who Bob is. Well, he's here with me. And that's Bob with Smoking Bob's Barbecue. All right, so yeah, here's the start. Oh, and Trinity from the, he's a forward motion guy. Got a great start, uh, but not quite as good as Mark did. Uh, Sneaky Mark was on the outside, and I think that was the place to be on this course. He kind of couldn't carry a lot of speed in. So yeah, short little field section, drop into XR Creek, and here it is. Oh man, this is awesome. So I got Trinity right in front of me. Just bouncing along. Ah, uh-oh, he bounced a little to the side. And I get around him. All right, let's see if we can catch Mark. So a little bit about today. Uh, the course is about five, five and a half miles long, somewhere in that range. Started out pretty chilly in the, in the 30s. Uh, actually started out in the 20s this morning. And oh man, it warmed up nice, up about 60 degrees or so. Can't ask for a better day better day than that, now can ya? Uh, there's Mark right in front of me. Clear skies, it rained about a week ago. So there's just the perfect amount of moisture right here. Mountain race, oh man, it's sweet. Oh, I gotta apologize about my ang camera angle here. Ah, oh, just a little too low. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, it doesn't get fixed, but hey, you know what? I think what it did do well is kind of gave me a little different perspective on uh, some of the terrain I'm hitting. By, you watch, just by watching my handlebars and my front fender there, you can really see how rough some of this stuff is. Yeah, the, the course, uh, this is the only course this whole series where they run the same AM and PM uh, course. So for a PM race, it's probably one of the, potentially, I don't really know, I haven't raced any other PM courses, but this could be one of the easier ones. So, oh man, I'm looking forward to some of the challenges that Spud, or not Spud, Chili and Jordan bring to us this year. Oh, it's going to be sweet. Yeah, because yeah, usually they'll throw in some little harder obstacles for the PM race. That's the A, the Pro, the A, and the B riders. And I'm a B rider for this year. Oh yeah. But so this course is pretty fast. Uh, it's pretty well established track. So it can get rough in a few spots, but that's gonna happen here in Missouri. But man, it is, it is fast and it's awesome. Still following Mark here. So 
So as far as my starts go, I'm, well, I'm second right now. And I, my mind's pretty much blowing right now. I'm like, whoa, I'm not really supposed to, because there's 12 guys on the line for me to, to start. Like, I'm not really supposed to be up here. I'm the new guy. I need to be in back somewhere. But I guess I'm in second, so I'll just keep on charging. And that's what I do here. Just keep on, keep it on. Still following Mark here, trying to make, trying to find an opening. Just keeping that door shut so far. Ah, there's a slight crack in the door. I uh, couldn't capitalize though. I'll get you, Mark. So, as of right now, I really don't know what's going on behind me either. Can't really hear a whole lot. Trinity said he was behind me at some point. He ended up spinning out trying to crash, or spinning out trying to pass me at a field section. Not sure where. Ah, so yeah, still following Mark here. Coming up, we're getting ready to hop over a log here, right, right here. And boom, did not see that tree. Like Mark was like hiding it. And then I, fortunately, there was a little sapling and I could just knock it over and just keep on charging. All right, so yeah, here we are, coming in lap one. Uh, watch this. So Mark's right here. That's his, I believe that's his son, Harrison. Harrison lets him, I want to, speculation, I haven't confirmed this, but Harrison let his dad around. He's like, oh, I'm going to block that other guy. Not let him around, just, just my dad. He did a pretty decent job. I let him know I was back there, give him a little tap right there. All right, so yeah, coming in for lap one. Oh, thank you everybody for cheering me on. I'm in second place. Can't believe it, mine's still blown. Uh, let's see if I can get around, around these two guys in this creek. Creek's a great opportunity to make some passes because it's so wide. A lot of this stuff's pretty, pretty much single track. There are steeps and passing opportunities, but if you pay attention, you always, it's pretty easy to take the right line. Somebody's got to be quite a bit faster than you to take advantage of it and take the longer line. So you can keep somebody that's marginally faster behind you. Marginally faster than you behind you if you want to. Ah, uh, but you know what? I get around him and I'm charging now. And right now, mine exploded. I'm in first place. So I'm like, I shouldn't be up here. But I am, so I'm going to keep on charging. Oh! Hurry up! Get back up. And don't kill it. Yes! And I didn't lose any spots. It's the way to go. Bounce. Uh oh. So this is the start of a trend here. I noticed as the, the race went on that I come through scoring, have people right on my butt. They stay right on my butt pretty much all the way through the field section. I get into XR Creek, excuse me, and I'd come out the other end and I'd be like, whoa, where'd everybody go? And I don't know if I just happened to do it most times pretty cleanly or if the people had troubles or I just flat blitzed it. But, hey, there's Josh cheering me on. Thank you, Josh, one of my uh, co or my race, the fellow racers back in C event, and then also for the off road cup. But he's wearing an off road wire rush racing shirt. Yeah, so guess what? That right there was the first time I have ever let come through scoring in first in a hillbilly race. And I'm doing it at my first race at the feedback class. What is going on? I shouldn't be up there. That's crazy. All right, so yeah, here we are in XR Creek and towards the end. Ah, that's Houston right there in front of me. Trying to get around him. Oh. Ah, he pitched me off. 
That's all right. I think Houston is having a way off day. I'm not sure what's going on here. Different class. So yeah, I catch him here. Give him a little pass call. But I'm actually glad he didn't let me by because, well, you can see here he's not in front of me, huh? Nor behind me. Nobody's there. And uh, we kind of had a yo-yo going on for a while. I'd catch up to him. He'd take off again. I don't know what's going on. The fact that I caught him, mind blowing, because he kind of was. Well, he was the top notch in the C class at the Missouri's this past year, won that series, so he's he's fast, he's faster than me, so I'm surprised I caught him. But you know what? I did. I think he's having an off day. Boom. Oh no. Alright, so yeah, no longer in first. That was Tyler. Number 532. Man, he came around me in that spot there and he's just flat gone. Good job, Tyler. I believe I still got Russ right behind me, the dock. Ah, yeah, so that was, just came in through lap two. Second place, boom. I think I still got, you can see Tyler right there ahead of me. Got Doc right behind me. You can still hear him. Possibly. Then I, I get my supercharger on or something in XR Creek here. Ah, uh, there's Houston right there in front of me again. So yeah, one lap later, me and Houston are back to where we were. At this point, I kind of given up on trying to give him a pass call because I realized that he can't be faster than me. I just kind of catch him somehow. And actually, at the time, I had no idea who who he was. I had to look him up after. When I got home and on the computer. How are those pro guys, I mean, they're like, what, like flat tracking across around those corners? That's flat out amazing. I need to work on that or something. I'll stick to the rocky stuff for now. Uh, made it through XR Creek relatively unscathed. Still got Houston right ahead of me. Ah, uh, Mr. Hall, thank you for cheering for me. Do love the encouragement, it keeps me going. Ah, and there's the man, Brandon Forrester and Zach Neal. Go, Neal! All right, I did see his aunt here today. Awesome. Man, those guys are blitzing. It's amazing. Yeah, so I looked down at my clock there, it said like 50, 51 minutes. I was like, no way. Cause I'm on lap three, I've done three laps I think it is. And typically, uh, you know, a lot of the Missouri's four, maybe five laps. So, ah, finally get around Houston. So my mind like, you know, just kind of, what I'm used to, like, I'm getting close to being done. I look down, oh my God, 50 minutes. 50, that means 50 minutes remaining. Woof. Ah, I hear two stroke revving. And there he is, Mr. Logan Lowry himself. Tearing it up, the defending champ in the Hillbilly Series. Ah, there's somebody else. Ah, that's Mr. Cole Hensley, he's back. You know what, let's take a moment to meet Cole. All right, here we are with Cole Hensley. Cole, we haven't seen you around in much alarm lately. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah. My my first experience with you, you've heard of my videos if the people have watched it before, is uh, it was oh it was Century Farms and well, right on. You you came flying Rich, around. Richland. First person that yep. First person <laughs> to ever lap me and I freaked out and crashed and. That's all because of your just <laughs> massive four stroke. Just bad. <laughs> but no, man, it was awesome. I, it was it was awesome. And uh, but since then, you kind of been been off, but you haven't been away from motorcycles. Tell me, yeah. you were kind of with one of the top guys in the nation for a bit. Yeah, yeah, I worked with uh, with Stu Baylor. We uh, we did the um, enduro series, the national enduros, and we did the GNCCs. And, yeah. Um, 
and we just traveled every, every weekend and I worked on his bike you know I just I just wrenched and um, I didn't even have a bike out there I just kind of rode and whenever I had the chance okay so uh, I've been uh, I got about 30 hours on my dad's two-stroke that I gave to him okay um, that's about all I did really the summer is you know did that and uh, I got you know about 12 hours on my new 450 now yeah you 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 lapped me a few times at the uh, off-road cup saw you there on yeah the, I did that and I rode uh, man what bike? I think it was on my two-stroke that was right whenever I got my two-stroke and okay. um, yeah it was all right I was just that was like my very first race back what now you're kind of name is the is it the renegades or oh the reserve the reserve yeah, what's that the reserve uh honestly it's just a bu couple buddies in town that we uh well not we um they kind of put together like an instagram page it okay was, uh, they were pretty big into riding but i don't, I don't really know if it's if that's much anymore oh, okay <laughs> but it still looks cool well man i'm glad to see you uh i'm looking forward to you lot me many more times to come yeah. you me twice today yeah i'm i'm excited to be back here the hillbillies. hillbillies are awesome last oh, yeah. time i was here i watered my brains in the in the creek oh. and and went home, but today, actually didn't crash today, it was good. Boom, there you go. Yep. No blisters, I got one coming in, but it's all right. Ah, it's nothing. Be all right, I'll pop it. <laughs> well, Cole, thank you, and uh, we'll see you about, right, all right? Uh, right on. Around, all right? Right on, man. See ya, bye. Thank you. Yeah, my first race ever, he was there. Well, it was an eye-opener. Anyways, welcome back, Cole. Glad to see you around, and oh man, I'm looking forward to watching your race. All right, so here we are. Ah, uh, there's Jeff and I pull over a little bit. And, uh, oh, shit. His bike was so loud and he was on it. I thought he was like another guy lapping me, but no. He's in my class and I just led him around. What was I doing? I'm gonna get that spot back. All right, so yeah, here we are coming through the woods. Uh-oh, Jeff had some kind of trouble. Oh, and I just tried to take out Austin Butler there, who is lapping me. He's like, get around Jeff. Not sure what happened to Jeff there, but it worked out to my advantage. Got around. But now you can hear the man behind me, I think, or somebody else. Somebody loud four strokes. Oh, so I take a wrong Steve here, the slow Steve. Jeff gets around me. Can't let that happen. But well, let's just see what happens. Oh, okay. So I think it goes right, I go left. I get back around him. Smack! Ow. Ow. A lot of a lot Ow. of cutting out the volume here, because good words are not being used. I just completely smashed my left foot. In fact, today's Wednesday, and I'm doing the, the audio on this, or the commentary. I went to the doctor, come to find out I have two broken toes right now. It's awesome. Yeah, right now, I'm riding a dirt bike with two broken toes. Awesome. It is throbbing, and I'm thinking, oh, my boot's filled with blood right now. I just know it. And I feel bad because I'm kind of holding up Jeff, so I'm trying to stay focused, keep riding hard, but at the same time, kind of scream like my foot is in massive pain. <laughs> Anyways, here we are coming in through lap something. Yeah, lap four actually. Still in second place. Holy cow. Got Jeff right behind me. I think I got Russ right behind him. And uh, my foot, it's the throbbing, the pain has subsided. Fortunately, there's not a lot of toe bending in motorcycle racing for a full foot movement. It's a good thing. Ow! Oh! And there, oh hey, so yeah, there's Noah Clark, Dylan Foss. Noah's making his pro debut, debut, and that's a guy to watch right there. He's six, just turned 16 back, back in October, and he's won the youth class. From there, he won the C class. Then from there, what else did he win? He's on a roll. So, I'm sorry, youth C Sport BA in 2017. Is he going to win pro? He hasn't lost the series yet. Uh, that's a pretty big order with Mr. Brandon Forster, Logan Lowry, Cole Hensley, Austin Butler. Oh man, we got a great racing this year. There was, I believe, 19 guys on the pro line this year. Whoa, that is huge. So yeah, uh, come, just came through scoring again. Still in second place. And got some more 
double A pro guys behind me. Uh, Mr. Chris Underwood. And shortly behind me is Mr. Brian French. Moving along. Actually, in here, I was kind of surprised though. Relatively in touch, I stayed with Brock. I was like, maybe they am going fast. I don't know. It's hard to judge it. It all feels super fast to me. Even if I am going slow, I still feel fast just because it's freaking me out. Yeah, so here we are a little later on. That's Chris in my class, number 523. Almost made the pass, I was like, shut that door. But this door does not shut for Chris forever and he gets around me. And look, look at that. It's like double A speed right there and he's gone. Flat, gone. Good job, Chris. Oh, look at that. You would not guess it, but that man right there, that is Manuel Morris, number 13. And that man has a flat, and yes, he is lapping me with a flat tire, and actually I got a kick out of this, so he just came flying by me in the track. And then we got on this grass stuff, I don't like catching up to him. And I'm like, what's going on here? Really, yeah, I'm kind of at a loss. Like, why did he just destroy me? Did you not see that pass in the creek? That was ridiculous. But we get back into the woods, and he's flat gone again. Those Morrises. Ah, Mr. Matt Van Dyke. I don't want to hear anybody complaining about how much far the drive is to lose place or any place, because well, Mr. Van Dyke here, he hails from South Dakota. So, anyways, ah, uh, there's Mr. Richard Dawson making his pro debut. He's super thrilled by it. He uh, won the A-Vet class and was top 10 in the Missouri Air Scrub and says, you know what, might as well move up to double A and guess what, that's where he is. So welcome, well, I can't really welcome you to the club, but you know, something like, hey, you're in the club now, Richard. Anyways, that was lap five. God, I'm losing track here. Ah, lap six in third place, still pretty thrilled. Oh no. Dump it, get tired. Ah, and there's Manuel's dad, that's Marvin Morris. He ended up winning this B45 class today. Good job, Marvin. Uh-oh. No! I've tried so hard to keep Russ behind me and just got around me. Good job, Russ. I want to pass you back. Maybe I can have Russ look at my foot. He is a doctor. Uh, anyways. Ah, oh, there he is. I'm like, Ross, take a look at my foot. Oh wait, Ross, come back. No, I'm kidding. I tried to pass him. I ran into him. Actually, I ran into that tree more than him. Tried to avoid running into Russ. My partially succeeded in not running into Russ. But didn't lose much time. Managed to get up. Keep on, keep it on. Ugh, tired of that big rut right there. Slick, slick grass right there. Keep on, keep it on. Ah, here. Yeah, getting, not trying to find a good spot for Vince and PJ, two double A guys duking it out. And here I'm kind of confused, like I keep going, do I pass him back? What's, what do I do? And, well, I kind of just give away. Right here, we got the, the winner of the A-Class and the previous year C Sportsman champ, Mr. Caleb Goff. He pretty much swept the series last year, winning, I think, nearly every race in the C Sportsman. So, he, that is an A-Rider right there. And he's gonna be a pro here real soon, I have a feeling. Well, maybe not this year, but like next year, for sure. Ah, 
Mr. Forrester. Good job on the win today, sir. You are truly a champion and one of the nicest people out here. It's awesome. I love it. So, he is so humble. Anyways, everybody out here is great. And we have Mr. Cole Hensley coming in second. No idea what he's saying to me, but trying to get out of the way. There we go. He gets on. Show me how it's done. He said he was conserving fuel. I don't know about that. He looked like he was flat flying to me. Anyways, good job to you. Good job to everybody out here. Had so much fun today. Oh, loved my debut as a beef head and just, yeah, just awesome time. Anyways, this is about where it ends. And right around the corner is where it really ends, but here's where my footage ends. And here we are just kind of chilling afterwards, shooting the, the poo and talking and me and uh, you can see Rick there, number 509. And thank you, Taylor Bonecutter, for taking some amazing pictures today. And finally, remember, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And if you haven't already, go and subscribe on YouTube. Uh, the 100 Miler, it's coming up. And the, up, the website's not quite updated yet, but www.theozark100miler.com. Go there, find all the information. Remember, this is an all levels race. Uh, you don't need a headlight and you think, unless you think you're going to qualify for the night race, which is only the top 25. And unless you're a really fast day rider or a pro, it's a pretty slim chance. So, anyways, it is all levels. You can race anywhere from 25 miles if you're a youth, trail rider, or a woman. And 50 if you're a C rider. If you're a B or A rider, you're going to do at least 75. And if you're the lucky 25, you get to do the full 100 and you're going to be tested. Anyways. I hope to see you all out there. It's going to be an awesome time. See you there. Bye.